Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is an update on my vegetable garden progress for 2019. Uh, these videos go way back to me starting the seeds for the uh, cool season vegetables, some of which I'm actually in the process of taking out right now. And then the warm season vegetables uh, that have gone in. I have put some steaks in for uh, tomatoes and uh, beans and some cucumbers. I'm gonna be staking, I'll show you those in a minute. It's just the top rail fence post is what it is from a chain link fence. Uh, I had them left over from the nursery, so that's the reason I'm using them uh, rather than tomato cages or any other technique I could be using. This was my free option. Uh, I had a, uh, uh, this video should have come out a little earlier in the week. I have had a uh, pretty devastating uh, hailstorm here that uh, put holes in everything, including a big giant hole that's directly behind uh, the camera right this second. Uh, there's a holes across my whole side of my house right here. Uh, hail that was in the uh, tennis ball, uh, baseball size. I've never seen uh, anything like it. I had a brand new roof. I think I'm going to end up with another brand new roof. Uh, so uh, that, that will be uh, interesting projects that will be going on in my yard while I'm trying to, uh, trying to do this uh, landscaping uh, for the next uh, month or so. But anyway, that's life. Uh, let me show you around just uh, how things have progressed. I'll show you some holes and some things where, uh, where hail uh, has no mercy. The potato bags are completely uh, topped off uh, with soil, and you can see how healthy and nice these are, but this is a great example right here of, of this hail. There's a hole right here where a big you know, baseball-sized piece of hail actually came down and uh, broke the top of the plant right there, which is no big deal, and then uh, put a big hole in that bag, but that's a good example of how big this hail was. So the little hoop house structure that I have, uh, that I've had around the lettuce that has this uh, netting on it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that uh, netting off and uh, roll it back up. I had put this on in the fall for my fall vegetables and it worked absolutely perfect for uh, all of these, uh, protecting this uh, lettuce and uh, kale and things like that from uh, rabbits this spring, but it's time to take it down. It's also time to take out some of this lettuce. You see where this one has a seed head forming on it. I'll just come in here and start to thin these out. I'll just pull them out. If there's some leaves to eat off of them, I'll pull them uh, off as I do it. But uh, slowly but surely, this lettuce will disappear um, out of this bed. But there's still some in here that's producing uh, good lettuce still. So, you know, I'll just wait for each of them to come to seed. Uh, over here is the exact same thing. I've got the uh, stakes in here for the uh, tomatoes. This is a jute twine. It's about maybe 10 inches off the ground in there, but they'll be about 10 inches apart and I'll keep adding them as I need them. Tomato plants jumped up to that height and I'll just, I'll just go back and forth through the jute twine with the tomato as it grows. Nothing to do on it yet, just waiting for them to get a little bit of height. You can see there's spots in here all over the place where this lettuce is laying down where hail hit it. And uh, over here, same problem. I've got a few that are uh, not a problem, but uh, it's time to uh, start taking some of this lettuce out that's coming to seed. And it'll give room for the, uh, the, the lettuce that's not, and maybe, you know, there's some in here that's a little undersized. As soon as it gets a little bit of light on it, it'll keep offering up some, uh, some leaves for a few more weeks. I picked up most of the larger sticks and things, but you can see pine straw and leaves laying all over uh, everywhere. Uh, strawberries are uh, starting to jump pretty quickly in this uh, raised bed here. Uh, cucumbers haven't really grown a whole lot yet, but that's pretty typical. They'll spend a couple weeks rooting them, rooting in and, and then and greening up, and then they'll take off really, really quickly. And I already um, have the uh, poles and the uh, jute up here to start uh, uh, putting those up on it. I'll show you that next week. As soon as I get a little growth on them and I can start attaching them, um, I'll show you how I'll train them up these, uh, through these ropes. So again, these are just the top rail posts from a chain link fence, which are very inexpensive at one of the box stores. And then that's just a jute twine uh, going across them, which is also usually pretty inexpensive for a big roll that'll last many years generally. Uh, that's what I'm using back here. Of course, you could use tomato cages and you know all kinds of variations of tying vegetables up that you'd want to use. But these are the things I had on hand. The pole beans back here are growing. They're a little bit yellow. Um, they're not as green as I'd like them to be. The plants aren't because I left them in the house maybe a week or two longer, um, just you know, waiting on warm weather. I started those just a little earlier than I should have. I do that on something every single year, but that's okay. They'll be green and um, green back up completely and growing like weeds here pretty soon. There's already one on the second row right there that's already on the second, second line of rope already. Um, all of the uh, 
annual flowers that we did from seed, you know, dahlias and zinnias and all these things, they're looking good. Uh, hail did a little bit of damage to some of them, but not terrible. There's a few volunteer vegetables uh, coming up in here that I will probably remove from last year's vegetable garden. Uh, there's a parsley plant right here that got hammered by a hailstone right there. Uh, it's fine. There's actually new growth coming from the center of it, but it got whacked uh, pretty hard. Uh, okra is uh, coming along back here, but I will uh, get all of these things, you know, trained up on these strings over the next few weeks, and then they'll just kind of take over and do it. Especially those pole beans. They'll once they find something to grow on, they'll they'll do it on their own pretty quickly. Uh, tomatoes here got hit by hail, and uh, that one right there is pretty much broken in half. Uh, but uh, I should get a uh, sucker on the side of it here to uh, to take over as the leader and I'll train it as uh, soon as I start to see it. So it's really not that uh, big of an update uh, other than I got uh, stakes up for the things that are gonna need something to uh, climb on. Uh, the summer things are starting to grow, the cool season things are starting to bolt or seed and uh, they'll come out as that happens and make room for these other things to give, give some space to the tomatoes and, and peppers and things. I'm gonna go ahead and take these peas out this week. Uh, they took it pretty bad from the hail. There's actually a few plants that are completely dead. I think they just took a hailstone right at the base of the plant. Um, and so uh, I'll update this again uh, next week or the week after, as soon as I can really start to feed these things up through uh, this jute twine. Uh, I'll, I'll show you more, but really uh, at this point, you're you know, putting your warm season things in the ground and getting them fertilized. And then, like I say, it always takes a week or two for them to uh, start to get moving. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel for upcoming videos.